Hey everybody, it's a beautiful end of July day. Nice and breezy and the bunnies are all out having fun. And I thought it would be a great day to tackle a video topic that I get requested quite frequently. And that is, what is your favorite rabbit cage? So today's video, we'll be reviewing the KW Cages Bunny Villa. I have 20 of the KW Cages Bunny Villa cages. I have 10 of the single stories and 10 of the double stories. I purchased these all this past winter. So I've used them for about five months and I think I have a pretty good grasp of both the pros and the cons. And those of you who might be shopping for a new rabbit cage or you're getting a new bunny and you'd like to know of some bunny cage options out there, we're going to tackle the KW Cages Bunny Villa. So let's get into the pros and cons. First of all, they are durably constructed. The wire is powder coated and it's nice and thick. Even the little rings that attach the wire panels are powder coated. Um, the latches are durable and easy to use. I actually only need to latch one latch and it works just fine. Has a nice big door and so you can fit nice large boxes in there for your bunny to play on. Easily get the litter box in and out of that door. If your bunny is hiding in the corner, you can get to your bunny. This is little Luigi. Hey buddy. So very durable. They obviously put a lot of engineering thought into this. And I like that there is no wood. No wood for your rabbit to chew on. No wood that absorbs bacteria and it's hard to clean. It's metal. There are some uh, door guards here that are plastic, but I haven't had any problem with those getting chewed. Next, this cage is very easy to assemble. It comes knocked down and I'll show you here in a minute when I clean one how easy it is to take it apart and reassemble it again. It is also easy to clean for the most part and I'll tell you those exceptions shortly. In the two-story cages, Vinyl only comes standard on the first floor and it comes with carpeting on the second floor. I asked if I could put vinyl on the second floor simply because I cannot fathom trying to keep carpeting clean. Even the best litter trained bunny will occasionally have accidents or even water that needs cleaned up. So to me, it just makes sense to have vinyl on both levels. If somebody wants to add fabrics for their bunny's comfort, you can add fleece like I have right there, carpet squares, um, old blankets, a towel, lots of different options. Now the ramp that you see there is carpeted and you know that makes sense to me. And the ramp is removable. If it gets dirty, you can take it out. I spray it down with a vinegar and water mix and rinse it off and then let it dry in the sun. So the ramp just sits in here with two tabs that fit in little slots in the floor. So if you come up underneath it on the first floor and then you can pop it out Take it out the first level and there you have your ramp so you can easily clean it. And this is also handy when you are first litter training your rabbit. You want to keep the space nice and small so in this cage you know you can take that ramp out and then once they're litter trained they can have the second floor. Or if you have two bunnies and you want to put one bunny on one level and the other bunny in the first story. What I have done before is you can put a piece of ceramic tile or even a big litter box over this hole and just cover it and then when you want to use it again you can put the ramp back in and uncover that. These cages are generously sized especially if you provide your bunny with plenty of exercise in your house or outside. 
These are roughly 42 inches wide, 20 inches tall, and 24 inches deep. The hole opening, I know some people are wondering if the rabbit will fit. I have Holland Lops, which are anywhere from about three to five pounds, and they fit through that hole just fine. It's also nice that the Bunny Villa cages come standard with casters on the bottom floor. So you can easily move your cage anywhere you like. You can vacuum underneath it. And it's very handy, especially if you have more than one cage. Some of you might be wondering how I clean these cages. Every morning I take that little shop vac over there in the corner and I do vacuum up any poo balls that don't hit the litter box. Hay is usually pretty messy um, if there's any fur. So I do that every morning. And then every few months they do need to be thoroughly cleaned. So I will show you how I do that. So here's the procedure I go through when I want to clean the cages periodically. It will probably look pretty gross. <laughs> Now let's get to the cons of the bunny billy cage. And this is just my opinion based on my experience with the cages and with the company. So first of all, I want to preface this by stating I contacted KW Cages and I explained that I was going to be doing a review of their bunny villa on YouTube and I provided a brief list of questions that I invited them to respond to. I received a call back saying that I should expect a reply by the end of the next week, which was last week. They had two weeks to respond. I received no email, no phone call. So that was unfortunate and a bit telling. Also, I have referred dozens upon dozens of customers and people on YouTube and people who have emailed me questions about bunnies and what cage to get, I have referred them to the KW Cages Bunny Villa Cage because I think it's a really great product. However, apparently KW Cages does not see merit in that and refuses to acknowledge the value of that. So in my opinion, the first con is this little track down here and the wall, the cage walls, the sides sit right down in it and it collects fur and hay and if you have a water bottle that hangs on the cage and then once that track gets wet it collects hay and fur and it's just very difficult to clean. Um, I have a little toothbrush that I've used and if it's dry the vacuum gets a lot of it. Poo balls do fall down in that track too. So I'm not really sure if there's any way around that. They would have to totally redesign the cage. So because of that track in the cage floor, um, when I refill my water bottles, they tend to drip for a few minutes and they drip right into that track. So that's why that paper towel is there. It helps to kind of catch the drips and keep them from saturating that track. So it's kind of a pain and if you use Crocs instead of water bottles, it wouldn't be such an issue, but I do prefer the water bottles. 
in the big scheme of things, that really is a small complaint. And if that was my only complaint, I would be a happy camper. Secondly, I don't like how only the bottom floor in all of the Bunny Villa cages comes with the vinyl. The second story, third story, or even the fourth story that you may order comes standard with carpeting. Now maybe my opinion is in the minority, but I just cannot understand how you can keep that clean. I just think of all of the messes I've cleaned up and it, it's so easy to clean on the vinyl. And you can take the ramp out when that carpeting gets gross and you can clean that. But you can't do the same with the solid floor being carpet. It's, it would be very difficult to do. Now, if you want to add comfort for your bunny, you can add you know, a fleece pillow, a blanket, a towel. There's so many different options that you can add that are washable. And to me, that just makes more sense. So here's the kicker. If you do want to request vinyl on the subsequent stories, second story, third story, fourth story, there is no option on the website for that. They do not even indicate that it's a possibility. You have to call them and ask about it, which I did. Um, I recently tried to order my 21st cage. I was trying to order a triple story and I called to inquire if I could request the vinyl flooring, but I went into order online and I was told that I could simply call after my order and have that changed. I also made a request in the notes section in the shopping cart that I would like to add vinyl flooring. So I placed my order and I get an email later that day requesting 45 additional dollars. Mind you, I had already paid 512 for a three-story cage and shipping. They requested 45 more dollars to add the same vinyl they used down on the bottom story in the second story and third story. Now, I was just flabbergasted and just dumbfounded that Number one, they never mentioned that fee to me before. I was never charged that $45 customization fee when I ordered these 20 cages. I referred dozens and dozens of people to them. No, they wanted, they still demanded that $45 more just to use the same material on the subsequent stories that they do on the first story. I also know that they had told me they make these cages in batches. So it just didn't make sense to me why they couldn't simply make my special order while they were making a batch of cages. Or I was okay with waiting until they had a series of orders from other people who wanted vinyl flooring and they could hopefully waive the fee. But I was not offered anything other than they gave me a refund and sent me on my way. So that did leave a sour taste in my mouth about their company. Thirdly, these cages are expensive. A single story currently is about $175, $300 for the double, and $420 for the triple. It's roughly $100, give or take, for the shipping. Um, I believe just one cage can ship FedEx or UPS, and anything more than that, you would have to get a freight quote. Next, their customer service. I will share with you my experience. Back this winter when I ordered 20 of their Bunny Villa cages, the website estimated my shipping via freight truck would be about $200. And when I spoke with the rep on the phone, she agreed that it would be roughly that. So several weeks later, my order shipped. I was never contacted to approve a higher shipping amount. And it wasn't until I happened to notice on my credit card statement, probably, you know, several weeks later, that instead of the roughly $200, they had charged me over $450. So over $250 more than the website wanted to charge me. And I, I was very upset after spending so much money with them, um, you know, over $5,000 with them that they would do this to me. I really felt cheated. Um, 
after quite a bit of communication, they did agree to refund the difference, but it was only because I noticed it and I contacted them about it. So I do advise if you can place your order on the website, um, but you may be contacted for additional money if you have any special requests. When I contacted KW and told them I was going to be doing a review on their cage, these are some of the questions that I asked them to address. First of all, if they make the bunny villas in batches and they are putting the vinyl on the bottom floor, why is there a $45 charge to put that same flooring in subsequent stories if they're already using it in the bottom and they're making it in small batches? It just doesn't make sense to me. The next question I asked is, so many people I talk to want the vinyl. They don't know this is an option unless they hear it from somebody else, such as myself. Can this or will this be added to the website product pages? And if there is going to be this continued $45 customization fee, can you please put that on your website? You know, explain to people they're gonna be getting contacted and asked for an additional $45 or can you add that charge to the option? They have an option already for adding a mezzanine, you know, a little wire half uh, second story shelf, and they have that charge on there. So why can't you add the option and the, in my opinion, ridiculous charge for the vinyl flooring on the website? That way people know it's an option and maybe you'll get more people requesting it so you won't have to add it as an extra fee. Lastly, I offered to organize a group buy of vinyl floor bunny villas. I wasn't asking for anything in return. I would do this to help my viewers and my customers because I believe that this is a very good cage. I like this cage. I, again, received no reply to that. So, in summary, I do think this is a great product, but KW's business practices are confusing. They're frustrating and frankly, they're quite disappointing. To me, it seems like, are they too busy to care about their customers who are purchasing these products and what the customers really want and how can they better serve the customers to keep them coming back? If you are so inclined, I encourage you to email or call KW. I will put the link below to their website. Tell them you saw their Bunny Villa review on YouTube. And tell them your opinion. Should vinyl flooring be standard on the villas without charging the $45 customization fee? Maybe you want to ask them, can they make batches of the vinyl floor Bunny Villas? Can they at least advertise the option of vinyl flooring on their website. I am to the point where I'm thinking of making any additional cages. Getting a solid surface, attaching vinyl to it, and I've made my own cages before. I would love to recommend a different company that sells a comparable cage. A solid floor cage, not made out of wood, so if you know of a similar cage, please let me know about it in the comments below. I know some of my customers use dog crates that have a solid floor and they really like those. I have never tried it. Living World makes some nice size rabbit cages with solid floors. I have several options shown on my website. If you go to ohiohollandlops.com and look under info and then bunny care. You can see the different cages down below. Or again, you might wanna make your own. Some people just use an exercise pen in their house and use that as the cage. Hopefully you have found this review helpful and informative. I would love to hear questions and comments about the cage that you have and like. If you have an experience with the Bunny Villa or KW Cages and would like to share that. I think the viewers would love to hear that. Thanks for watching.